Now, the first part of entrepreneurial design loop is this inspiration. Let's try to see what it is all about. So, inspiration is the starting point, is the driving force for entrepreneurial ideas, for entrepreneurial projects. What is this? So, the most successful entrepreneurial projects start with a problem to solve. They start with a real-world problem of customers, partners, other stakeholders that require solution. And then entrepreneurial process is all about finding a viable, technologically feasible and commercially viable uh, solution to this problem. So problems can be pains, frustrations, constraints. It is all the things that drive people crazy. Find a solution to a problem and people will line up in order to buy your solution. Uh, in entrepreneurship, one of the key to success is to fall in love with a real-world problem, not with your solution, not with technology, not with a product. Fall in love with a problem, not with a solution. And then formulate a solution to this problem. That's why entrepreneurship is not about building multi-billion enterprises or not only about building multi-billion enterprises. Entrepreneurship is ultimately about solving real-world problems. So, problem is usually the best starting point. However, of course, some ventures start with satisfying some passion. And we all know um, some of them. So, for example, uh, this is a Mont Blanc pen, quite expensive pen, like re really expensive one. Of course, this pen is not solving a real problem of customers because uh, a much cheaper pen uh, without the name Mont Blanc can, can be here, uh, can solve the same problem. Mont Blanc is needed to, to, to satisfy some passion of, of users of this pen. So uh, this is also satisfying the passion of customers is also a way to start uh, an entrepreneurial process. The only problem is that if you solve a problem, people will line up in order to buy your solution. If you satisfy a passion, in most cases, you have to persuade your potential customers that they really need uh, to buy from you. You have to invest a lot in marketing and, in general, these type of projects are much more risky. Uh, that's why, for example, companies like Apple Lodge with huge charismatic leaders, with huge marketing resources, this kind, these companies are able to thrive by satisfying the passion of customers, but most startups start with a problem. Most resource-constrained startups start with a problem. Then, sometimes you have to start with a product. There is nothing wrong about it. So, for example, uh, you are a business development manager of an American company in the, in Canada. And in this case, you already have this pro product from the United States that you have to push to Canadian market. In this case, you do start with a product. All entrepreneurial design loop starts with a product. The only problem is that you still usually have to try to understand what kind of problem can you solve for your Canadian customers using this product and, and still get back to the problem, start, starting with a problem so that people line up in order to buy your solution. Sometimes you have to start with the technology. So there is a new general purpose technology emerging in the market. So we, for example, uh, a great example today is quantum computers. They are still not exactly working, but this quantum computers technology uh, promises to make something magnificent in the future. So you start with a technology, but it's really actually hard to build a commercial viable um, commercial enterprise around a technology. You still have to get back to some problems that your technology can solve because technology in itself does not create value. Value is created by solving real-world problems. Uh, sometimes you can start with an industry or a segment. So, for example, all your family has been working in a particular segment and you also have to start a venture in this segment. As you can think about it, again, you have to ultimately still find a viable problem of customers of this industry, of customers of this segment in order to uh, start the entrepreneurial process. So, going back, most entrepreneurial ideas come from rigor, discipline, and going in cycles in entrepreneurial design loop. There is no such thing as a great idea up front. And inspiration, as we have discussed, the most promising inspiration for entrepreneurial process, for entrepreneurial thinking is 
problems, pains, frustrations, constraints of customers. If you are solving a problem, you don't, you, you usually don't even need to invest millions or billions into marketing. Once there is a solution, people will line up to buy your solution.